yesterday I tried to um, charge with a different charging point, like a plug or a different company. Um, and um, yeah, it didn't work from the app. It was really strange. Like, it's supposed to be working from that app, but it didn't. It didn't have like the, uh, it doesn't have the card system either. It's from this company called Enology. Um, and they are these fast chargers. And I think it doesn't work because the, um, they've charged by how much you use their electricity. And uh, the, uh, it's, it's kind, kind of expensive. Like if, if I, I charged, I took 23 kilowatt hours and it was uh, like, it came to nine uh, euros above. Of course, compared to like, you know, petrol and stuff, it's still much cheaper, but um, um, yeah, because it's more than half the tank. Um, but, but still, like compared to the other um, charging station that I used, uh, it was, uh, it's, um, it's more expensive. Twice as expensive. Like the other chargers, they they allow you to, to charge by like a four euros flat rate. Um, so it doesn't matter how much you charge, but it's not really fast charging. I think they're never fast charging with those ones. So they they're from e mobility and another company. There's like two or three companies together that um, have them. Uh, so they have like an agreement and then they have these you know, chargers. Um, but the app is the same. Like it's so the app uh, is claiming that it can it can handle both kind of charging. But it seems at least it's not able to uh, handle the fast charging. Um, at least not from the app. And they don't the charger doesn't accept the cards. So how do I know? Um, yeah. Um, so that's the that's the story with the other charger from Enology. But they were pretty fast, like in two hours I had like, you know, uh, less than two hours, let's say. Um, I had um, from 40% to 90%. Um, so it's not bad. Also the um, range, um, the estimated range, it even dropped down more. Because the last time when I had the full charge, that paid fast. So this time it was like 93% or something charge level and it's reported um, 200 something or something. Uh, anyway, I calculated and it uh, 100% the same estimate would be, will come down to 300 something, 301 or something um, kilometers. Um, so yeah, it's still coming down, but I think it's it's still, um, it's still, um, um, what what was what has been said uh, by Renault um, like what has officially been the story a realistic estimate not that any DC or whatever that is uh, that that is 400 kilometers or so but real world real world um, experience um, I think it was advertised as uh, 300 kilometers and it's 41 kilowatt hours that is so that is uh, well, that's pretty much exactly that's exactly correct, I think, um, because I haven't been really road raging or anything. I haven't been driving very fast. I accelerate sometimes more than I should, and that's why I get like the score, the echo score that I get from the car at the end of the journey. It's it can go till down to eighty percent, but it's not less than that. It's like I'm, I fluctuate from eighty to ninety four. I even got 93, 94 at some point, I think. Um, so that's not, that's not bad at all. Um, but still, it's like 300. Um, I wonder how much would it be if I drive really, really bad or just drive on motorways only. I think it will go down really fast. Like the range will go to 250 or 240, even more. Maybe even less than that <laughs> on the full charge. But um, yeah, the, the electric car. But, um, with the it's back. Um, also, I put keep the echo mode on, uh, especially if I'm in the, in the city. In the city roads, it's um, 50 kilometers per hour or less. So 
great and uh, it's easier than one. So yeah, that's um, I guess that's what it's going to be. Uh, in Pity, mostly if I keep it, then it would be 300 and if I go on the bus on one of off to another town or something with longer longer journey on the, on the motorways, then it would be, of course, um, I'm, I'm, I would expect 240 at best, 250. Ahead, keep left. Um, I should have brought my sunglasses, uh, but the sun is gone, but apparently not. One thing about driving in Berlin is strange, like, um, I thought, like, I'd, when I was driving around in London, I thought, like, people, like, drivers in there are very rude, they're always in a hurry and stuff, but I think in Berlin it's much worse. Uh, German drivers are famous to be nice, but, they're nice, but they're, like, in, in Berlin they're, they're rude, like, um, uh, I think they don't think of it as rude, <laughs> they think of it as, like, normal. Um, so one thing is that if you're doing a maneuver on the on the road, like for example parallel parking or turning around on the road, they will not wait for you at all. Like as soon as they get any opportunity to get go around you, they will just go. They will not care if you if you're waiting for them or not. They, I think they assume that you will. Um, so they there is no they won't wait for you, and that's like pretty dangerous. is really annoying and if you're not used to that can be very dangerous before I think it, it was more like before this car I, I wasn't used to driving in Berlin I was I came very very close to hitting a car because they didn't wait for me I uh, I was just about to turn on the left which is um, similar to turning on the right in UK um, because um, there's two lanes to, to think of you know, you look right you look left and then you go and I looked left, and there was a guy coming, but he, he seemed to have been slowing down. He saw, he saw me coming on coming on the road. So I assumed that he will be stopping for me because he, slow, he was slowing down. And I looked on the right, and I was about to pull off. But uh, as, soon, as soon as I pushed the accelerator, I saw him coming right in front of me, and I braked. Um, so yeah, it, it was a very close call. Um, so fortunately, I, I did break. So in the end, but it could have been much worse if I had not been cautious and didn't pull out slowly. Um, like that would have been an accident. <laughs> um, yeah, and it would have been my fault, of course, because I should have looked before going on, which I in the end did, but I, I was just expecting the courtesy to, for him to wait for me before I. Um, but yeah, and then since then I noticed that it's a common thing. Like everybody does that in here. Like there's no exception. I have never seen them waiting for me. They just go as soon as they get a small window of opportunity. While you're still in the middle of your maneuver, you might just back up into them or something. But, and um, another thing about the <laughs> seems seems like having an electric car is a good conversation starter in, in here. Um, with strangers, um, uh, I, they're not very common still. So, if you're at a charging point, that's that's when people notice that oh, it's an electric car, um, and they come and ask you like, uh, so uh, is this a good car? Or how much mileage do you get? Blah blah. But usually, it's, they're, they're they're very curious about mileage and um, on a full charge. That's that's what the usual question is. At least the first one. Um, also, um, I went for my flying uh, lesson the other day. He, the, the, um, the instructor was a retired, um, retired guy. He, he, he's just doing sometimes lessons just to earn some extra money sometimes. Um, really nice guy. Um, and he had a BMW, um, old one, but really good one. And I uh, told him, like, I have an electric car. And his, his immediate reaction was like, yeah, that's, that's, they're good, but they're very dangerous. And I was like, why? And he's like, oh yeah, it's, um, 
old people, they can't hear. And I think he was a bit um, concerned about himself as well, obviously. Uh, like, uh, he's after retirement age. He said he retired long ago, so I think he's uh, something like 75 at least. So, yeah, I can understand his, his point of view, but um, I think he, nobody told him that uh, electric cars nowadays have sound. And um, I told him, he first didn't understand what I meant, like, then I told him again, and he was like, um, okay, um, uh, then he wanted to see the car, he was extremely curious, and then he wanted to um, hear the sound, the artificial sound, and so he and I was like, okay, so, let's. so I took off, and while he was standing there, and went around the block a bit and um, yeah, he, I think he was in the end convinced that yeah, okay, they're not dangerous because of trains, they can, they, you know they're coming. So yeah, um, that, was, that was funny. Next turn ahead. You have reached your destination. It is on your right. 